Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's project is something interesting. I'm gonna show you how you can build your own camera shutter app based on LVGL and ESPIDF. As you can see in this video, it's connected through a BLE and you can press the shutter instead or you can set a timer to take a picture. Uh, you can also simply check the current connection status in the label on the top left screen. Um, this is the first video which covers setup and UI screen configuration for LVGL on ESP-IDF. Uh, I'm starting from scratch to use LVGL on ESP-IDF. Uh, if you don't need this part, please skip to the next video. As you know, we can proceed uh, unless this part is prepared when we start the project. Uh, hopefully, you will get it, everything you need from this video. And I'm gonna cover the BLE HID in the third video. Uh, I will prepare it as soon as possible. This system uses BLE, which is available for all systems with Bluetooth 4.0 or higher. Uh, I hope you guys like it too. Okay, then let's begin. As always, the first thing to do is to do the wiring, uh, same as the previous wiring in IRI9488 except one. I assigned IRQ to pin number 35 this time. Um, in the previous project, we used TFT ESPI as a graphical library and only assigned the touch CS pin. However, the RVG for ESP32 will require this IRQ pin. Uh, this is because the touch event is by IRQ to interrupt. I just added the wiring only the number 35 pin to the existing system. It's not pretty though, sorry about that. Just for your information, in the general ESP32, GPIO, general purpose input output between 34 and 39 can only be set as an input mode and do not have a software pull up or pull down functions. The hardware wiring has been completed as shown on the screen. That's all. Uh, this is the LVGL library used in this project. It works in an IDF environment unlike the previous LVGL project. Uh, since the source code for drawing the screen using LVGL is the same, you can use what you worked on anywhere. Uh, in fact, the reason I use this library for IDF is because of the BLE HID. I will do the details of this in the next video. Um, let's start the installation. Uh, first, uh, get the project with this URL. All some modules are downloaded as well. If your VS Code environment is not ready, it's recommended you complete it first. Uh, please check the previous video. Uh, okay, downloading is done. Uh, go to the root folder of the project you downloaded. Uh, let's start the configuration. Um, oh, it says ESPIDF 4.1 Dirty. Uh, dirty means that there are modifications in the local ESPIDF directory. Uh, it's easy to fix because we have already installed ESPIDF 4.1 in the previous video. Uh, navigate to the folder where ESPIDF is installed and run install shell. and then run the export shell to set up the environment variables. That's it. Move the folder again where you downloaded LVG earlier. Uh, we need to run the menu config to configure this project. Uh, from this, we can set all about not only LVG but also ESP32 in detail. I will just set up the LVG today. Uh, you can find LVG menus under the component config. Uh, first, LVG example configuration. You can select what type of demo will show up here. Uh, the second one is for LVG configuration. Uh, here you can change the components of the LVG including font, widget, and LVG settings. The third one is the touch controller. Uh, my display IRI9488 has an XPT2046 touch controller. So I select it. Please select one for yours. Uh, set the pin number to match the touch wiring. Uh, 
Uh, the last one is the hardware uh, display. Uh, set as yours. Uh, my display resolution is 480 pixel by 320 pixel. Unfortunately, a 40 megahertz is the maximum speed on my display. Uh, finally, set the display wiring pins. Uh, let's save and get out. Uh, you can simply type idf.py build to build it. Uh, information about LVGL settings is provided here. Please refer to it if necessary. You can see that the build ended successfully. Open this project in VS Code to make it easier for building, flashing, and money running. Uh, one thing I need to mention is that Arduino sketches are written in C++, but in the ESP IDEA framework, you need to code in C basically. Of course, there is a way to use C++. You can easily convert your project based on the C to C++. However, in this project, I don't need to use the converted project, so I will keep it as is. Let's open the main C file from the main folder, excluding lots of uh, included header files. The most code, LBG part, free RTOS based, and so on are all the same. Uh, after selecting the port connected to your ESP32, let's try to build and upload this demo code to your ESP32. Uh, oops, I almost forgot it. Let's set the baud rate before flashing it. Uh, go to extensions, or find the ESP IDF and extension settings. Change it to the baud rate uh, 921,600. Uh, this one is the maximum speed of it. Uh, okay, let's build it again. Actually, it built successfully in the previous console and there was nothing changes, so it's the same. Okay, build successfully. Uh, there is a one missing part of the display setting. Uh, unfortunately, my display does not support a 2 by swap, so I have to set this up. Uh, let me open the menu config and set it to disable. You can find this menu under the LVGL configuration. All looks good. Let's build fresh and monitor at one time. Uh, here you are. Uh, you can see the LVGL example demo is working properly. Like LVGL for Arduino, it works with the same code. Uh, one problem found is a uh, touch point is not correct. Touch events work properly, but it looks like the X and Y of the points are swapped. Uh, this can be modified in the touch option. Let's go back to the menu config. Uh, let's remove the slide demo widget from moving automatically first. You can turn it on and off uh, in the LVG example configuration. Uh, go to the touch panel configuration. Uh, off this swap X, Y. Okay, all looks good again. Uh, let's see the result. Uh, here you are. Uh, you can check the touch point on the screen is correct. Uh, there is nothing special other than that. It just works fine. Uh, okay, uh, let's move to the next step. Uh, the bottom dashboard says eight problems were found. Uh, this is a problem caused by not being able to find the header files in the VS Code because the path is not set. Uh, to solve this problem, you can add a few things in the setting and see C++ added configuration of this project. The setting JSON file is automatically created uh, when you set the port which is connected ESP32. I copied and pasted this part from the prepared file. Uh, also, it's available through the link below. Uh, open C, C++ edit configuration to add the include path and the browse path. Uh, this will resolve the problem. Uh, go back to the main. After a few seconds, you can see the header errors are gone. 
Uh, I will ignore the LVGR keypad and encoder header because it's not used. Uh, so far, we have configured the system to use LVGL based on ESP IDF. Uh, in the next video, we will use LVGL to draw the screen for the camera shutter app. If you run into any trouble, leave your comment on this video. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.